Moving now over to the receiver side of the Planet 2000, also known as Communicator NI440DX from LCL, the Serpent UK 4000 and the Manikestrel, produced by Mickey Industries. Where were they anyway? Just wondering what country of origin these are. Japan, oh, right. So, on the receive, the first one is that one there. And that is L11, according to my notes. Is it receiving? I'll just clean these controls. I'll tell you what, the squelch is quite vicious on this. But despite these having a quirky receiver, that's 0.3 of a microvolt. So L11. I'll just see if taking the turn off helps the sign ad meter. No, it doesn't. L12. Drop the attenuator. L13. L14. Which has got some tape on it. Probably so the speaker doesn't short out. L13. Once again, I'm going to drop the attenuator. L16. Interesting, that's a long way out. The next one is there. Drop the attenuator. And then we'll set an S9 signal. Switch that scope back on for you. That's the left hand one. Move the meter and my head out of the way. And this should be the detector, but they're really funny. There we go. Very finicky. Now, while we've got S9 on the test set, which is 100 microvolts, we'll set the RF meter, uh, sorry, the S meter, which is reading S5 at the moment. The preset for that is VR4, which is just by that um, black coil in this case. With these being vertically mounted, they're real faff to get you tool into
There we go. Now we need to go for the squelch. Now it seemed to be very coarse. I'll switch the signal generator off. Set the squelch to threshold on the radio. Switch the signal generator on. It comes in at one microvolt, which is okay. Set the squelch to full on the radio. And then bring up the signal generator's attenuator until it comes in. And it never comes in. And that's totally wrong in the way that's set. So it's preset VR2. And VR2 is just there. I just touched that and it started to work. I'll just clean it with the service all switch cleaner spray. We'll just waggle that about a bit. Right, so we'll try again. So this time we'll switch the signal generator back off. Squelch to threshold. Set squelch. Switch the generator back on. Comes in at one microvolt. Turn the radio squelch control to full and see when that comes in. It comes in at 3 volts, which is just over plus 30. So that's now fine. Now we'll do a sensitivity check. Well, that's 0.3 of a microvolt. So that's fair enough in anybody's book. Let's turn the volume up so we can all hear this. And 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.15. Just over 0 0.1. It's jolly good. And that concludes it. So I'll put it together and put it on the air and we'll see whether there's anybody we can hear in this middle of nowhere, 35 miles from the nearest city place.